Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tracy, Movement and Alignment Guide, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the number one muscle group to strengthen for your knees. But before I do, I just wanna say that if you're watching this on YouTube, to please consider subscribing to my channel so that you can get easy access to all of my videos where I'm gonna be sharing stretches, exercises, alignment tips, meditations, and more to help you on your journey towards discovering your best posture, moving with more ease and power, balancing body and mind, and breathing more freely and joyfully. Sharing what I've learned over my movement teaching career of 30 plus years is my passion. Uh, and I teach one-on-one -on -one online movement classes, and you can always go to my website at tracyreneestafford.com for more information about that if you'd like. Now, regarding the knees, the number one muscle group to strengthen for the health of your knees is the quadriceps. Um, and that's not to say that it's not important to strengthen the other muscle groups surrounding the knees, the inner thigh muscles, the outer thigh muscles, the hamstrings, especially depending on what's going on with your knee and your knee history. However, um, it has been proven time and time again that to prevent joint deterioration of the knee, and if you already have joint deterioration, um, like osteoarthritis, the number one muscle group to strengthen is the quadriceps. It's also been proven not just for the knee joint, but for the hip, for the spine, and really for all the joints of the body, that in terms of pain, mobility, and quality of life, the more important, the most important factor um, in determining these things was the strength of the muscle groups and not the amount of joint deterioration itself. So what I mean to say is, that people who had x-ray results that showed a lot of joint deterioration in their cartilage and the joint surfaces, but who had strong supporting muscles had less pain, more mobility, and greater quality of life than people who had x-ray results where it showed very little joint deterioration, but who had little strength in the muscles surrounding the joint. So hopefully that's good news for you. If you have gotten a diagnosis of osteoarthritis or any kind of joint deterioration, um, that it's not game over for you, that you can still have function and less pain just by strengthening the supporting muscles. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the quadriceps here at the knees and I'm gonna show you um, one exercise, there's many that we could do, but I'm gonna show you this one in particular because it's very safe and accessible for most people. I'm sitting down on the floor, but this can totally be done sitting on a chair, absolutely. Okay, so regarding the quadriceps, um, it is comprised of four muscle groups, hence the name quadricep. So there is a muscle on the outside of the thigh, on the inside of the thigh, and two muscles on the top of the thigh, one on the surface and one deeper in. Okay, so there's four muscle groups. And they, when they are firing, you will notice that your kneecap pulls up the thigh. Okay, so if you can just, whether you're sitting on the floor or sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair is probably more comfortable. Um, if you can just relax the muscles on the front of your thigh, and then just bring your hands onto either side of your kneecap and just very gently let the kneecap move from side to side. And you'll notice it should be able to move a, a little bit. Don't move it a lot. Okay, so that's a relaxed kneecap. Now, when you fire the quadriceps, you should see and feel that the kneecap pulls up the thigh. Okay, the tendons of the quadricep surround the kneecap and they pull it up of the thigh. And now if you bring your fingers to either side of it and you try and move it, it's not moving, it's stable. Okay, so that's a much more stable knee joint when your kneecap is pulled up when the quadriceps are firing. Okay, now with the quadricep muscles, the one muscle that tends to be the weakest in all of these four 
is the inner quadricep muscle, which is called the vastus medialis. So we're going to strengthen all of them, but we're going to focus particularly on that one. And so rotate the leg out just comfortably right from the hip socket. So it has like a, a ballet dancer position. It's a little bit turned out. And then um, we're going to do an exercise that has three stages. Okay. Stage one is Again, whether you're sitting on the chair or sitting on the floor, you're gonna have your leg straight. Phase one is you're going to pull the muscles up and pull the kneecap up. Okay, so the quadriceps are firing. And I want you to see if you can even see that inner quadricep, that vastus medialis firing. Okay, you should see that muscle puff up. And you can even do what I'm doing here where you're tapping that muscle a little bit trying to stimulate it to really fire like the muscle is squeezing like it's making a fist okay so that's phase one hopefully you're doing that with me now phase two is you're going to be doing what I'm doing where you're kind of sitting back in a bit of a slouched position even if you're sitting on your chair you want to be in a slouched position so that your pelvis is curled under and you can really draw the abdominal muscles in in a scoop so that's the second phase and then the third phase is using the abdominal muscles and keeping the quadriceps really engaged. You're gonna float the leg just to hover off the floor. And we're gonna hold it here for a count of five, four, three, two, one, and then let it relax and come down. Okay, so that's our exercise in those three phases. And we'll just do that a few times a little more smoothly. And so if you can, draw the quadricep muscles up, see that inner quadricep muscle fire, draw the abdominal muscles in in a scoop, and then reach the leg up, hold it up here, breathing for five, four, three, two, one, and relax and release. And one more time on this side, draw the kneecap up, Firm the quadricep muscles, especially that inner quad, tapping it if you need to. Scoop the abdominal muscles in so the pelvis is curled and then bring the leg up and hold it up here for a count of five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, so we'll just do that to the other side and see if there's a difference between the two muscles. And like I say, if you're sitting in a chair, that's, that's probably even better. Okay, so we start off with the leg turned out, so it's in that kind of ballet position. And if you can start off with the knee relaxed, the quadricep muscles relaxed, and then we'll begin. So you're gonna draw the kneecap up. You wanna feel all the quadricep muscles pull up, especially that inner knee muscle, maybe tapping it, seeing if you can see it firming up. You're gonna curl your pelvis so the tailbone is curled underneath you. Your abdominals are really pulled firmly in. And keeping all of that, you're gonna reach the leg to hover off the floor, holding for five, four, three, two, one, and relax and let it go. And again, drawing the kneecap up, firming up the quadricep muscles, firming up that inner quadricep muscle, curling the pelvis, drawing the abdominals in, and then floating the leg up and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and relaxing. And one more time. Drawing the kneecap up, firming up all the muscles, especially that inner knee muscle, curling the abdominals, drawing the belly in, and floating the leg up and holding for five, four, three, two, one and relax okay great so then i'll get you to bring yourself up to standing and i want you to be able to see here how they work when you're when you're standing up tall now commonly when people are standing with straight legs it's really common to let the knees hyper extend back and lock the knees and when that happens often the pelvis is tipping with it so we're losing our alignment of our pelvis and our spine and also it's creating undue stress in the joint i shouldn't really be doing this too much and um overstretching 
the tendons at the back of the knee. So it's really creating instability and leaving you vulnerable to excessive wear and tear over time. So when you're straightening your legs, if you can think instead of pushing your knees backwards, okay, if you can focus more on pushing the floor away and like I've been saying, pulling up the kneecaps and feeling those muscles in the front of the thigh firm up. Okay, so the knees are not going backwards into a locked position, but instead they're gonna feel like you're pushing the floor away and you feel the muscles of the kneecaps and the front of the thighs firm. Now, when you are getting your legs to fully straight, if you have been a person who's hyperextended your knees in the past, when you bring them just to fully straight, it might feel like they're still bent. And that's fine, okay? If you've gotten into the habit of when they're pushed back that that feels straight, when they're in a better alignment, it actually might feel like they're bent. And just let that be, knowing that you're using the marker more of pulling the kneecaps up, feeling the muscles firm up in the front of the thigh, rather than um, a bony kind of pushing back into the knee joint itself, okay? So every time that you push your legs to straight, you wanna be firming up the thighs. And so just to notice that in your day, when you're standing, that you're standing that way and not letting your weight get pushed back, not letting your hips get pushed back, and standing tall, supporting more from your muscles so there's less weight on the joints. Okay, so I hope that that's been really informative and helpful. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.